What's up, guys? Another fantastic week here at Marvel Strength. The nutrition challenge is solidified. Good luck to all of our participants. You're going to do great. Be on the lookout for those emails, the weekly challenges. Download the Coach Catalyst app and definitely enter that Facebook group if you haven't done so already. Marvel Mayhem registrations have begun. You guys have started pouring them in. I'm loving it. It's awesome. Keep it coming. Let's ev get everybody involved with Marble Mayhem this year so we can make this a big, epic finale to the end of the year. Uh, Bring a Friend event is next week. So if you have some friends or know some people who want to get started in their fitness program or get back on track, definitely bring them in or give us their information and we can reach out if the next Saturday's workout doesn't work out for them. But with all that being said, let's go over this week's programming. Monday, we're starting off pretty strong with some back squats and... A uh, nice short eight minute workout of rope climbs and thrusters. Now, our mindset. All right, they're to the front of us, to the left and right, and behind us. We're surrounded. They can't escape us now. Just change your mindset to believing that you can do the impossible. If people are like, in this case, I think it was a, uh, the general was completely surrounded, but his mindset was good. We've got them now because now they don't everybody they're all around right you just change your mindset even in a dire situation like that having a positive mindset knowing that you're capable of doing the impossible is like super key so positive mindsets this week guys all right so we got back squats every two minutes heavy doubles around 90 percent for our competitive athletes who have been playing along this whole time we're going for 10 uh 10 minutes on this one uh, 90 percent for our competitive athletes dropping it down to 80 to 83 maybe 85 percent for level one level two people who are just learning how to do full range of motion i want you to practice a little bit lighter if you don't have a one rep basically we want to take about uh, an rpe scale of about eight seven to eight on this and we'll do five reps every set for the five sets so that you get practice moving weight embracing and walking weight out um and the level three can people who are most likely people who just started with us or who just just getting their feet wet just getting started with their fitness program let's keep it six reps it could be an empty bar the whole way through work on full range of motion work on walking that bar out just work on the proper mechanics of a back squat if you're having trouble going all the way down or if you have any issues with that uh, squat to a box our coaches can help you navigate that situation all right our workout conditioning for monday is going to be jet engine eight minute workout complete as many reps as possible one legless rope climb for our competitive athletes and then two four six eight and so on on thrusters at a manageable weight 75 55 uh gentlemen you're going to be doing a seated rope climb and you'll spend a lot of time uh going on the barbell so your forearm and your grip might start to give out, but it's a short workout. So be aware on taking your time on that rope climb just to get all the way up, hit the hand on the ceiling as you get there and come on down with control. Uh, ladies, you're just legless rope climb. So work on that kipping swing. If you need to get all the way up, hit the ceiling, come back down. Uh, level one is going to be the jumping rope climbs with legs. So jump up and use your feet to propel you upwards and we can lower the weight down to 45, 35. If you feel like 75, 55 is within your wheelhouse and you're getting full range of motion, getting that head through at the top level two is going to be a full rope climb modification to the ground. So you lay all the way on the ground, pull yourself up, keeping a full, a fully extended position, like fully everything's in line, uh, pull yourself all the way up and lower yourself all the way back down to the ground. That's going to be one rep. All right. Um, Thruster weight could be 35, 25 or modified to just a squat or just a press. Or if that's not the problem and the weight's okay, then use whatever weight that makes sense. Level three rope climb is going to be modified to a lower box. Uh, so you'll sit on a box, pull yourself up to standing. It could be a 12 inch box. We have that foam box, a 12 inch box. I recommend using that. Pull yourself up and you can sub out uh, dumbbells for the thrusters you can either do dumbbell thrusters or you can do uh partial range of motion partial motion uh just sub the dumbbell squats if your shoulders bothering you if you have knee issues or hip issues just do the press and if there's anything else that is limiting you we can discuss it discuss it with your coach and make sure that we're all on the same page but definitely a fun workout it's gonna be a cool way to kick off monday definitely a little bit easier than last monday when we had the 10 rounder so 
it's gonna be cool i'm looking forward to watching you guys crush this one tuesday we got a cool workout for you guys some bench press in there and some toast to bar burpees and running uh, our mindset for the day is think like an immigrant act like an artisan you are owed nothing you have to do all the work anybody that comes in here you don't need any help from anybody nobody's gonna give you anything just because of who you are so be proactive in the situation and take ownership and responsibility we are going to do this all ourselves and we are going to all support each other do it while we're doing it all right so we got some bench press going on um competitive athletes are using the percentages as is so 80 percent four sets of five 88 percent um for us just a single and we're going to pause on that single we're going to pause on that single for the 88 percent and then you're going to drop it down to 60 percent max effort as many reps as you can so bang it out and um we'll move on after that so level one athletes going to take it down about five percent on every set we'll do about five sets in total so figure 75 and 83 are good good sets to so just practice uh bracing and getting into position and using a little bit of leg drive when you're bench pressing all right as you're bench pressing make sure you don't lift your feet off the floor that's when you're going to lose leg drive so be aware of pushing down into the floor so you can apply that force uh, level two, we'll just take it down. Five sets of five is good. Work on just getting tight and using the tempo, using a little bit of a tempo for control, right? Control that weight, press it up, control, control. I'll put a video, uh, more video stuff in there. And then level three athletes, people are just joining us and just getting used to our environment here. Welcome, by the way. Use a weight that makes sense. Use a tempo on the way down and one count on the way up. Five sets of five and one set of empty bar max effort or lighter if that makes sense if we need to sub out dumbbells for this strength for any reason we can do that um our level three athletes what i want you to do in the in between sets of those five sets of five while you're practicing bench hold a 20 second plank in between each set and take 90 second rest in between each set so that's our strength for today and then we got the workout called tiptoe 10 rounds for time 10 toes to bar 10 burpees 100 meter run we got uh it's it's kind of fun i think this will take about mm, 20 minutes i'll give you a 20 minute time cap on this one 10 toes to bar it's going to be rough just holding on to the bar the 10 burpees will be okay but uh and that 100 meter run is going to be where you catch your breath a little bit and sort of shake those arms out so definitely a burner definitely a grip grip uh grip and shoulder workout for sure and those abs might get tired so shake it out as best you can work on getting unbroken or five, two sets of five on the first few sets. And if as long as you can hold on to that, do it. All right. I don't know if you guys saw my toes to bar um, tips and tricks video, but uh, I'll add it again. All right. Level one is going to be toes to something. So just get your feet up as high as you can. Do the burpees and out the door. Level two, hanging knee raises, six burpees, and then run or jog, light run, whatever makes you, whatever works for you. Just go down and back. All right. Level three, we're going 10 sit-ups, 10 squats, and then six shuttle runs in the gym. So three total down and back, 25 feet equals one rep. Holding on to the pull-up bar is not your thing or you're not there yet. Sit-ups are cool. Squats are totally fine if you're having trouble. If we need to sub out one or two of the things instead, that's fine, right? If we need to sub out in level two, a shuttle run because it's raining or anything that's going on, I haven't checked the weather. We can always make those adjustments as we go on. But nobody is rowing. Nobody is biking. You're either doing some sort of shuttle run or something outside down and back. Everybody can at least walk down and back or do shuttle runs. I'm confident of it. So that's our workout for Tuesday. What do you guys think? Wednesday, we got a cool uh, open workout from 2013. We got some power cleans every two minutes for six sets. So 12 minutes in total for our mindset for Wednesday. When it's obvious that the goal cannot be reached, don't adjust the goal, adjust the action steps. So if you set your targets way too out of your scope, then we need to adjust what the goal is. We need to adjust how we get to that goal. So if you say you want to lose 100 pounds, uh, it's obvious that you're not going to be able to do that within two or three months. We need to adjust our action steps. What do we need to do to get there by the end of the year, or in this case, by the end of next year, 100 pounds is our goal right take small take that big goal chop it into little goals and have checkpoints our competitive athletes are going to comp uh, build up across those six sets up to a heavy double from the floor our level one athletes are going to build up on the first four sets but they're going to 
basically spend the rest of the time uh, using that same weight. So essentially the first three sets are going to be different. The four or five and six are going to be the same weight across just to practice that timing and jumping up. Uh, we don't have to go super heavy on this one. If you're confident in going up, go up. If you're not super confident in going up, don't. All right. We're looking for sharp quality power cleans. Those legs pressing up, shoulders staying over the bar. We don't want to let our hips tuck and get off balance. Keep that weight right in the middle of your feet. Uh, level two, you're going to be doing three reps from the hang. Just at a comfortable weight. Focus on jumping and catching and turning that bar over onto the shoulders with a full rack, front rack position. All right. Focus on the quality of the reps, not just getting the reps and getting the work done. Level three, you got a little complex for you. Keep that weight super light. If it's just like a 10 or a 15 on the bar, totally fine. Work on your positions. Work on your lifting from the floor, deadlifting, hang power clean, and just a little push press. You'll do that twice every two minutes for the six sets. Use the same weights, all right? And uh, if you're brand new and power cleans just aren't there yet, consider using a muscle variation and a strict press instead of the more dynamic jumping and catching. So it's more important that you get the proper stimulus and that the, the movement is a little bit higher quality than it is that you're just sort of getting the work done. I don't want you to just get the work done. I want you to work on making the work as good as possible because that's how we'll make all of the progress. Then for our workout, we have the open workout from 2013, 13.2. This is an AMRAP for 10 minutes, five shoulder to overhead, 10 deadlifts, and 15 box jumps. Stand all the way up on that box. You can jump down, but I always prefer a step down. It helps me keep rhythm and helps me move smoother and not waste as much energy. Our competitive athletes who have been following us along the way and are within their wheelhouse on this workout, which in this case, it should be a lot of you, 115 and 75, and then 24, 20 on the box jumps. This is a fun workout. I remember doing this one uh, back when I started doing CrossFit in like, wow, well, I started in like 09. But this one might have been one of my first opens that I actually did. I think they started doing the open in 2011, uh, 2012. Yeah, so this was, I remember doing this one. You can probably find a video on YouTube of me doing this one. I'm pretty terrible at it. But uh, yeah, it's a, it is a cool workout. Um, pretty sure all of you guys can beat me from that, that, that my 2013 performance. I'll see if I can link that, that video in this, but, uh, yeah, competitive athletes at 115, 75, 24, 20 level ones, just dropping the weight down. And if you need to step up on the box, that's cool. Level two, we're dropping the weight down even more and just do step ups on a 20 inch box. Totally fine. Level three, we can go either empty bar or sub dumbbells in for the presses and the dumb and the deadlifts. And then step ups onto stack plates or the 12 inch box that we have. Uh, coaches, a three 45 pound plates would be the 12 inch box. So if we have to go that route, step ups or a lower, lower, lower height uh, box jump, totally fine. Just make sure you stand up all the way and come back down. And if you're doing step ups, 15 each round is totally fine. It doesn't matter if it's seven and seven, seven and eight in each leg. Just try to get 15 reps. So that's our workout for Wednesday. It's going to be a fun one. Uh, you know, bring a towel, bring a bottle of water. Pretty cool. Thursday, active recovery day is going to be a fun one. Nice 30-minute casual pacer, all right? Our mindset for Thursday. Real fears can be overcome. It's the imaginary ones that are unconquerable. You know, so it's like let that set in a little bit. You know, something that's real and that you can that's tangible, you can see it, easy to overcome that fear. It's those things that we just aren't sure about that make us nervous, all right? So don't let it get to you. Do the things that you know you can control and do the best you can. All right. So our active recovery, 30-minute AMRAP, long one today, guys. If you want to just sit on the bike for 30 minutes or sit on the rower and run around for 30 minutes and then do some sit-ups a little bit, I'm all for it. All right. Make this active recovery your own. 30 minutes with um, running and rowing and running or rowing for a quarter mile, 30 sit-ups, running or rowing for 30 wall balls, running or rowing kettlebell swings your choice on all of these weights make this work at your own if you want to just do um squats with the med ball or you want to use a light kettlebell and do russian or american make this work at your own this is just about moving around for 30 minutes and keeping a solid pace right this is not about how hard you can push for 30 minutes right make this work at your own figure you want to plan two four six you want to plan about one round every 10 to 15 minutes. I'd say 15 minutes is probably closer. Try to go unbroken on everything. So if you use a med ball, 
uh, you, uh, your wall ball should be on the lighter side. Honestly, if I'm doing this one, I'm using the 10 pound ball because after Monday through Wednesday, I'm, I'm going to be beat. That's where I'm at right now. 30 bo uh, wall balls at with the 10 pound ball. I can go unbroken every time and I can pace out the run and just feel good. You know, just feel good. Feel like I did something today and keep moving. So that's our workout for Thursday. Uh, we got some optional after parties in there with some ring rows and some glute bridges. So there's some bodybuilding in there. Should be a fun one. Good way to ease into our Friday. Friday's workout, we got an optional strength. You can either squat, snatch, or deadlift with a clean grip. So that means we're going double overhand. Um, and then I got a fun workout with some biking, grounds overhead, and pull-ups. Our mindset for Friday, the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. All right. So proper preparation prevents poor performance. Have you guys heard that before? It's pretty awesome. Uh, make sure we're planning ahead so that we know we can be ready for when our future. It's only when we're uh, not ready or we're not planning properly that we get stressed out. Things don't go our way. So make sure we're planning and we have a plan and execute. All right. So we're choosing strength, either squat, snatch or deadlift. Well, everybody will warm up for a snatch and then we'll break up and do about do either or depending on which which direction you guys want to want to go. Not everybody loves snatches. Not everybody loves deadlifts. So pick one that makes sense for you. Um, our competitive athletes are going to be doing three squat snatches across increasing round uh, reps, increasing weight across the five rounds. So every two minutes, you'll do three reps and squat snatch. So choose light weights to start because three reps is a lot in a squat snatch for sure. Level one. Three reps, increase, but stay at a weight that feels comfortable if you need. So don't feel like you have to add every round. Level two will be a muscle variation or a power snatch or the deadlifts at the same weight. So depending on which version, which where you're at and which what strength you're choosing, muscle variations on the snatch are cool. Three reps at the same weight across the board. You could choose a manageable weight and just get some quality reps in work on the positions work on the movement and if you're just doing deadlifts just choose a choose a weight that makes sense that that you can work with for 10 minutes level three can be a muscle clean and press could be a muscle snatch uh could be a very light deadlift four reps every time and use the lightweight just to work on lifting weight from the floor so trust your coach ask your coach what would be best for you and execute that to the best of your ability using the levels provided all right it's important to not always go for the highest level but the one that makes sense for you where you're at right now so be aware of that all right and our workout more power to you all right complete four time in any order so 45 36 calories on the bike 45 ground to overhead 45 pull-ups can be done in three rounds of 15, 15, 15, or 12, 15, 15, if you're a female. And using weights like 95 and 65. So this is a, should be a kind of a sprinty style workout. You can break it up however you want. Uh, if you want to start on the pull-ups, that's cool. If you want to start on the snatches, that's cool. If you want to start on the bike, that's cool. All right, break it up however you want. If you want to go straight through 45, 45, 45, by all means, do that. All right. Competitive athletes, 95, 65, level one, 75, 55 with jumping pull-ups. So we're not using the band. Level two, 45, 35 with ring rows. Level three, subbing in dumbbells for a pair of dumbbells for ground to overhead or snatches. I think clean and press is probably better out. And then bent over rows at the least. All right. There's a 12 minute time cap on this one. Um, choose your strategy wisely and stick to it. Right. If you're going to go five rounds of nine, 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 that's cool. Do that. All right, that's a quick turnover, quick transitions. You might be done before you know it. Three rounds of 15, 15, 15, or 12, 15, 15. That's cool too. That's not a bad route to go. Um, and if you do it in nine rounds of five, 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 that might not be the best option. But choose the one that makes sense, get it done quick, and lay on the floor and relax because you've just worked really hard. So that's our Friday. It's a pretty cool one. I'm looking forward to watching that one. Saturday murder fit. All right, man. Murder fits the last day of the week. Fun one. Uh, partner workout, 28 minute AMRAP. All right. Our mindset for the day pursue one great decisive aim with force and determination. One step at a time, guys. Pr just keep making steps towards your goal. Have a simple goal in mind. Make sure it's specific, measurable, attainable, relate uh, repeatable, and time based. All right. Smart goals only. So you can only do so much at one time. 
That's our mindset, right? And now we have a partner. You go, I go. 28 minutes, June bug, two ring muscle ups, four single arm dumbbell thrusters, six box jumps, and eight single arm overhead lunges. I do two ring muscle ups. You do two ring muscle ups. I do two, uh, four single arm dumbbell thrusters, two and two. You do those. I do six box jumps. You do six box jumps. I do eight lunges. You do eight lunges. So that's how it's going to go back and forth for the 28 minutes. If you don't have any of those moves, our levels are provided. Pull-ups plus ring dips. Sub the dumbbell weight out a little bit lower. Box jumps at a lower height uh, for level one. Level two, it's going to be jumping pull-ups and jumping ring dips. So no band this time, guys. Don't use a band for the dips. Just jump into it. Just keep your positions nice and tight. You can apply as much assistance as you need by jumping into it. Any dumbbell weight is good for the full, as long as you're using a full range of motion. And our front rack lunges um, for instead of the overhead are good too. Just hold that dumbbell up and, or step ups work. Uh, step ups for the box jumps work as well. For level three, eight ring rows, four push ups. You can modify the push ups, do a little bit of a worm action. It's totally fine. Um, Dumbbell modified variation or very light with a full range of motion. So if you can't quite get the full range of motion on the thruster with the press, either just do the press, do a partial push press. You could do just the squat part. Depending on where your limitations are, choose that movement that makes the most sense. Uh, goblet squats or step ups for the box jumps. And instead of the lunges, in case you have any ankle issues or knee issues, just do four shuttle runs and that'll be it. And then we'll have our bring a friend workout later on after the first 730 class. We'll have our 830 workout with the bring a friend and uh, it'll be really, really cool. So that's our week, our preview, and I'm excited to see all you guys crush it. Um, make sure you guys bring a friend this weekend uh, coming up next weekend on the 28th. I mean, we want to pack this house. We're going to have some muffins. We'll have some coffee. We'll hang out a little bit. The weightlifters will throw down and uh, Gina Teresa and myself will be able to chat and see what we can do for our new friends. All right. That's cool. Keep registering for Marble Mayhem. I want it to be super epic this year. All right. We got about 15 signed up already. So let's keep it going and uh, we'll make this, uh, we'll finish out this year really strong and it will have a lot of fun. Um, other than that, your weekly challenge for nutrition, our nutrition challenge is up. Go check it out. Do that on your own time. Um, whenever, before, after class, it's a quick one. All the challenges for the week are going to be super simple. You could do this in like 10 minutes on your own. Just carve out a spot and finish it out. All right. Other than that, guys, I don't think I have any more to say. So I think it's just time to get to it. So I just want to end it with age is inevitable. Weakness is not. So thank you for lifting shit with us. We will see you on Monday ready to work. Thank you.